Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we will be doing a root discussion of Penzance to Truro, also going to St Ives. Uh, let's start off. The route is 25 miles long, uh, plus the one to St Ives it would be 29 miles, because the St Earth to St Ives, which is the route, uh, which is called the St. Ives Bay Line, um, is four miles long. The route, uh, well, St. Ives was, um, the station was created in 1877, I think. Yes, no, maybe. Um, and um, this route is in West Cornwall, which is very nice. I'd like to go to Cornwall someday. Uh, someday. Put in the comment if you'd like me to do a video on Cornwall if I ever go there. And I will be doing this route if I go to Cornwall, definitely. That is 100%. I'll definitely do this route because I'd like to see what it is. Right now, I'm currently playing the Isle of Wight, as you can see. I mean, not currently. When I... Well, previously, yesterday, um, I was just figuring out what I should do. And I thought, hey, let's do a route discussion. Anyway, so the rolling stock for this route is the BR Class 150. I think there's another one. I cannot remember what it is. I think it's a 1-4 something. I can't remember. Um, they also used to have the 43 because this route also went to Plymouth, London, Birmingham. I don't, I don't really know that many routes down here because really I'm a Brighton boy so... I have never been on an exciting train. The only trains I've been on is a BL Class 700, BL Class 377, BL Class 387, and a 313. That's all of them. So I haven't had that much excitement to do with transport. Um, so the stations are for this route obviously Penzance, St. Earth, and in between Penzance and St. Earth, there is a depot i think uh sent uh well sent earth can go up to sent ives i'll uh, speak about that in a minute uh after sent earth it's hale camborne red's roof and finally truro uh it will go on for longer but not on trends and worlds in real life it does uh i discussed the rolling stock and um if you like to go up to sent ives at sent earth it will go off and go on to something called the St. Ives Bay Line. And that will go up from St. Earth to St. Ives. Calling at... Let's see, where does it call at? Yeah. Why does my mum's phone keep being... Um, yeah, just um, stuff. Emails. Yeah, anyway. Um, and it will, s the second route, or the one up to St. Ives, will stop at St. Earth, Lelant Saltings, Lelant, Carbus Bay, and St. Ives. As I've said, the route is four miles, and it will use the BR Class 140, 142, I do not know. Let me just see a few of GWR's rolling stop while we're here, just because it's nice. Uh, put how you doing? today evening night whatever time it is um i like to know how everyone all, all of my views are doing that sounds a bit i don't know yeah uh let me just um go and see gwr's rolling stock i'm on xbox so i'm not really using my pc at the moment so i'm just searching up gwr's rolling stock just a normal day at the office. Okay, let's see GWR's currently operating stock. So, let's see the trains. Um, the fleet size, they have a cl Is this correct? They have a class 57 diesel locomotives for two Knight Riviera sleeper sets. Uh, class 150, class 158, so that's the sprinter, the 165, the 166, the 255, the 287, 
the two eight hundred, the two eight two, so they're IETs. The parent company is first group, so they have a contract. When that contract ends, the first group can either pay, I think pay, to um, have it again, or it can be auctioned. So Scott Rail used to be run by first group, the other route which is coming for Scotland. Uh, it used to be run by first, now it's run by Bellio. Um, and, yeah, they use um, the networkers. They also have routes from London Paddington to Cardiff Central, London to Swansea, London to Bristol Temple Meads, London to Exeter, London to Plymouth, London to Penzance, London to Oxford, London to Great Malvern, London to Bedwin, and London to Cheltenham Spa. This, well, that was the intercity. Now let's go on to the Thames. This is kind of a, you know, a little bit about Great Western Railway here. Very nice. I might do this every time about different companies. Okay, this is a kind of half video. I'll make it two separate videos next time, but just for the Scottish route and for probably Scott Rail. It'll be like every route that comes out and that's came out on Trains and World, I'll make a discussion video on and a follow up video of that company. Um, there's also Thames routes, which, well, it says Thames. This is all provided for Wikipedia for me. Um, there's also one from London Paddington to Didcourt Parkway, which is, the stock is a 387. Nice. Um, there's also London Paddington to Newbury, also 387. Reading to Newbury, 387. We're stealing to Greenford, Slough, well, I'm just going to, um, read all of this out because they're all the same trains. We're stealing to Green, well, yeah, all of these trains are 165s that, well, all of these trains on the route is the 165. We're stealing to Greenford, 165, Slough to Windsor and, uh, uh, Eton Central, 165, Maidenhead to Marlow, 165, Twyford to Henley on Thames, 165. They also go Reading to Gatwick Airport, which I never knew. That one, well, this is also in the 165, which is Reading to Gatwick Airport, Reading to Red Hill, uh, Reading to Basingstone, uh, Didcot Parkway to Oxford, and Didcot Parkway to Banbury. Also in Wessex, they have uh, the rolling stock for this is the 150, 158, 165, and 166. Uh, these routes are Cardiff Central to Portsmouth Harbour. Um, also, they do Cardiff Central to Taunton, which uses the 158 and the 255. And I'm just reading all of the routes. I'll make this quick instead of saying and. Um, and <laughs> Bristol Parkway to Western Supermare, which is using the 165 and 166. Great Melvin to Westbury. 158, 165, and 166, also using the same stock, Gloucester to Weymouth. Swindon to Restbury also uses the 158, 165, and 166. Uh, Bristol Temple Meads to Seven Beach, that uses the 165 and the 166 only. Uh, now we're on the Devon and Cornwall routes. Um, this route uses the 158 and 255. It's Exeter St. David's to Penzance. Uh, now, Exmouth to Paynton. Well, Paynton, which is... Is it near Totnes? I think it's near Totnes. I don't know. Uh, which is on Umpsy. Anyway, uh, that uses the 150 and the 166. Uh, St. James Park to Barnstable uses 150 and 158. Plymouth to Gunners Lake uses the one for, uh, the one fifty. Linskerd to sorry, might cut out. I was saying, uh, Linskerd to Lou, which uses the one fifty. Uh, these all basically use the one fifty. I don't need to keep repeating myself. Parter New Cray uses the one fifty. Truro to Falmouth Docks uses the one fifty, and Saint Earth to Saint Ives also uses the one fifty. So I was totally correct on that. Um, also, um, yeah, that's pretty much all of them. I think they have nicknames for a few trains. I won't go through that. Um, this video will be ending soon, uh, in probably about five minutes, so...
yeah let me know in the comments if you enjoy now um let's talk about um my new videos so i'm going to be doing a few roadmap videos i'm going to be discussing companies or routes that train some worlds dis um well enclose or you know share with the world about what route will be next next time i might do glasgow to cathcart circle route that will be nice uh, i do love scotland you might not know that most people who i know do i say about edinburgh all the time at school anyway um i'm going to edinburgh in may which is nice i'll be going on a coach it'll take 17 hours and 25 minutes if you want to know the coach company it's national express uh, i'll have a link to the national express song because why not i'll also have a link to national express great western railway um spurs reading 96 because um some of the stuff was from him wikipedia page and um yeah um i'll be doing a few roadmap videos did i say that i don't know it's just been i'm kind of tired um i've i recorded this previously like a minute ago but it didn't save so i kind of not lost my progress i just lost my recording so i don't know if i'm repeating anything i can't keep my head straight anyway yeah i'll be doing some roadmap videos i'll be doing a few group discussions and yeah that's the end of the video have a good one guys i'll see you in the next one and try to enjoy lockdown if you like it i should say i don't really like it because like today i was playing some train sim and i just said let's get going because i was about to drive my train and then i just imagined me saying that on a train journey which i never got to do anyway <laughs> on that <laughs> note let's um end the video have a good one guys by the way um the video you're watching right now is me on a 465 southeastern livery on the east coastway what have i done anyway have a good one